In this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you something really cool. It's a user dashboard built in Elementor. So as you can see, when I go down the page, as a user, I can come into my dashboard and it says, welcome, Michael. And it shows me my profile completion status. It provides quick links to areas of the site I might find interesting. I can see my Learn Dash courses that I'm taking and jump into wherever I left off, see recent discussions from forums I'm in, and I can see highlights from things going on within the community. And this is all built using new Elementor widgets that we've created, which I'll go through. And it is very customizable. You can modify the content in these widgets or even take them out and swap them for other widgets. And of course, we've taken care to make sure that when you're in mobile, everything looks beautiful there as well. So to get started, we're going to go into the WordPress dashboard and in plugins, you want to make sure that you have Elementor added, of course, for those that aren't aware yet, Elementor is a really popular and extendable page builder for WordPress. We have extensive support for Elementor throughout the theme, and we've added these widgets for building this Elementor dashboard. So once you've activated Elementor, you're going to want to go into pages, add new, and you're going to create a page that's going to contain the dashboard. So I'll call this dashboard. You could call it whatever you want. And then I'm going to click edit with Elementor. And if we go to the Elementor elements section, you can see these are all the widgets with Elementor. If I scroll down, you'll see there's the section Buddy Boss, which has a bunch of new widgets in it, some of which are used in that dashboard. So you could, for example, take the profile completion widget and paste it in here and start configuring it. But we actually have something much cooler than that. Once you update to the latest version of the theme, you'll see this new Buddy Boss icon whenever you're editing an Elementor page. So you can click that icon and you'll see we have a bunch of pre-built sections which I'll go into in a separate video. If we head over to pages, you can see we have a pre-built page for creating your dashboard. As of today, August 7th, this is the only page that we are including. As time goes on, we will start adding other pre-built pages in here for helping you to create various types of sites. So I'm gonna go ahead and click insert, and it's going to insert this whole page in for me. So you can see what the page is, is actually a bunch of Elementor sections and widgets pre-configured for you. So instead of having to replicate all this, you can just click that one button and just like that you have it. So let's click update. And then we're gonna open up this page on the front end so we can view it. And here's the dashboard we just configured. So of course this is personalized to me. So you can see welcome Michael and it's my avatar. If I log in as one other user, let's say Ankit, click view as. So now I'm logged in as Ankit and go to his dashboard and you'll see I have different info in here. Now I'm seeing Ankit's avatar and I'm seeing his profile completion and content related to his user. All right, so I'm gonna switch back to admin and we're going to configure this page to look a little bit nicer to remove this text up here and then I will show you how to configure these different widgets. So let's go back into the Elementor editor for this page. You can also do that by clicking edit with Elementor. And to get rid of this, we're going to go into settings and under page layout, and we will switch it to Elementor full width. And that's going to remove that information there and make the page look a little bit nicer. So let's refresh and that's a cleaner look. And now I'll show you how to configure these different widgets and their options. So I'll just start from the top down. If we go into this one, you can see we can adjust the positioning of the widget and we can change the text. So as an example, I could say, hello, Michael, welcome to your dashboard. And I can update that and refresh the page and it's updated. Let's move on to our profile completion widget. So if I go here, you can see we have lots of options. So the completion graph 
we can have circle or linear. I'll go back to circle. We can change the alignment again. And then these options, some of you might already be using our profile completion WordPress widget that goes into WordPress sidebars. So we have the same options replicated in the Elementor widget here. So this information here, details and default data, these are coming from BuddyBoss platform profile fields. So let me go into the dashboard and go into BuddyBoss profiles. And you can see we have these two profile field sets, details and default data. So whichever profile field sets you have available on your site will display here and you can determine if those are included in this completion percentage and in the drop down here. And then profile photos and cover photos, if you've enabled those in BodyBoss settings, then those will appear here as options as well. You can check to hide the widget once progress hits 100%. If you say yes, and once the user hits 100%, the whole widget will disappear. Profile complete button, you can turn this button on or off. If that button is on, then when I click the button, it's going to take me to edit my profile. And then we can edit text for various places throughout the widget. So the word complete is what's showing up in here. So I could say like 40% done. And then this button will say complete profile, or you can change it to something else. And then once this hits 100%, if you've chosen not to hide the widget at 100%, then the button will change its text to say edit profile since it's already complete. And it will still take you to the same place. So you can change these button texts in this widget as well. All right, so I'm gonna move on to the next widget, which is our grid widget. This is another custom widget we've added. So you can see it's a grid of items and each item has some content, has a tooltip and an image text and it links to somewhere on the site. And this is very customizable as well. So let's say I go to the first one here, I can open it up and you can see the title. So I could change the title, for example, to my courses. And then this description, it's not showing automatically. If I go into content, I can adjust various layout options. So I can make things left aligned, right aligned, and I can turn on and off the little icon link. And I can turn these tooltips off on and off and the separator line on and off. And I can turn that description on. So if I turn on the description, then when I go back into the grid area, I can edit that description content. So I'm gonna turn that off for now, just to keep things looking clean. And back in here in the grid items, so I can change the title and the description content and I can change the content that shows in the tooltip. I can add any image I want in here. So we give you these images automatically when you install the dashboard page. You can upload your own images and you can type in a link. So of course you'll wanna add for each grid item, you'll wanna add the link to the associated content within your website. All right, so let's move on to this widget. This is the Learn Dash Activity widget. So this is showing my progress within courses that I'm taking. And as of this moment, we only have this widget available for LearnDash. In a future release, we will add the same widget for Lifter LMS for those of you using Lifter. So we have various options here. You can control the number of courses to appear within our rotating carousel. And of course, it's only going to show the ones the user is taking. And then we can turn some of these things on and off. We can turn media off, for example, which will remove this. And we can turn it back on. This progress bar is this indicator. You can turn that on and off. We can turn the course title and the course excerpt on and off. If I turn on show dots, this is going to add this little dot indicator at the bottom and then show link. So that's this button. You can turn that off and change the text in it. And my courses button, we can turn that off or change the text in it. For example, if I click that, it's going to remove the button. All right, so let's move to the next widget, the forums activity. 
So this is going to show a recent reply from a forum that I'm involved in. So you can see show forum title. I can turn that on and off. Show metadata. I'm just gonna turn that data on and off. And we can turn the excerpt and the reply icon on and off. And the link, we can turn this button on or off and change the text. And the view my discussions button, we can also turn on and off and edit the text in it. All right, so let's move down to these three widgets. We have the forums widget, activity widget, and members widget. This is different from this one. This widget is just showing a recent reply from a forum that I'm involved in. This is showing activity coming from all forums across the community, all activity across the community and all members. So in here we have some options as well. I can pick how many forum posts to display within the widget and some options for visual spacing. And I can turn on and off if I want to display this link, if I want to display avatars and if I want to display the metadata and replies, etc. Activity widget has similar options, how many bits of activity we want. So here you can see four. Let's make it, let's say six. And we'll see more posts. And the activity widget actually has more options in terms of the content, which are important because that widget, if you have a lot of content in it, it can get fairly big. So it's up to you if you want to display a lot of content or just a little bit. So for example, I can turn content off totally, and it's just the update information. And if I turn content on, I can still have the content on like this, but turn the media off, and it will remove the image, document, etc. And show actions, if I turn that on, you have some options for turning, for configuring that specific actions. That brings in all this. And if you do that, it can get quite big because on the front end, people can leave comments and you'll see all the comments in here as well. If it's just in one slim column, you might want to turn that off. But again, you could take this widget and put it anywhere. So you might have a bigger version of the widget somewhere and you wanna see all that. And then let's go into the members widget. Similar types of options. We can determine how many members we want to display. If we wanna display the all members link and the filters, we can turn those on or off. And for the users themselves, we can hide avatars or hide names, show on and off their online status. If they're online, you'll see a little green dot showing that they are online. And we can change the default order to newest popular or active. So I think you guys are gonna really enjoy this. And again, every widget in here, as I've shown you, is super customizable. And you do not have to stick with this default layout. You can remove this widget and make this two column layout or put in some other widget you want. And all the widgets that you see in this dashboard can be used on any other page on your site as well. While editing a page in Elementor, just come here and find the Buddy Boss section. And from there, you can grab any of our widgets, including the ones I showed you in the demo and some other ones I'll show off in another video. And just drag and drop those widgets into the Elementor page.